G'day guys, it is Fates here, bringing you a new PUBG Mobile video to the channel that's been highly requested for so long by you guys down in the comments. I honestly have no clue why I haven't done it yet, but I guess it's better late than never. So in this video, I'm going to be going over four major points which will hopefully help you control recoil a little bit better in PUBG Mobile and potentially get to the point where you can actually control it without any recoil. So they are finding the perfect sensitivity, a little bit about how device will help, the best settings for controlling recoil, and ways that I practice controlling my recoil sprays. So just keep in mind, this is all no gyro. Uh, personally, I've never used it. I've always like preferred using my finger instead of having to tilt my device like it's a racing game. And also there's other ways to control recoil, but this is personally for me the best way. So without further ado, let's get into the tips and tricks to control your recoil in PUBG Mobile. So before I go over the best sensitivities to control your recoil, I just want to explain a little bit about uh, each sensitivity setting in the game. So there's camera sensitivity. Uh, this only affects when you're like not firing. So if your finger's off the shoot button, uh, this is what the sensitivity will be. So the next one is ADS sensitivity. So when you're shooting, this will like kick in. So this is for recoil, the ADS sensitivity. So to find the best sensitivity for controlling recoil, firstly you gotta hop into training grounds and go to that table with all the scopes and just pick them all up. So for third person no scope sensitivity, keep in mind this is all ADS since that's for obviously recoil. Uh, what you wanna do, you wanna find a sensitivity that allows you to do a perfect 360 so you can have like a full circle. So if someone's like running around you in close range, you're not gonna run out of finger space. So once you find that sensitivity, just practice doing 360s until you're comfortable with it and that's what you're gonna stick with. So for red dot and holographic sensitivity, you don't want it too high since it's mainly for close range and you want to be as accurate as possible. So to find the perfect sensitivities for these, all you want to do is go up to these wooden targets in the training ground and try and flick onto each one while shooting. So if you're shooting over all the time, so like you're going past the target, make sure to turn the sensitivity down. And if you're shooting just before the target, make sure to turn it up. You're not going to get it perfect every time, like especially since it's a new sensitivity, but once you're really like comfortable with something, uh, just make sure to stick with that and just work on flicking onto each target. So to find your perfect sensitivity for two times all the way up to eight times, it's a little bit different to red dot. So in this case, you actually want to have a higher sensitivity. So that means you only have to pull your finger down a little bit less uh, to control the recoil, which makes it, in my opinion, a lot easier. So the perfect sensitivities for these scopes, in my opinion, would be anywhere from 30% to 60%. So what you want to do, you want to start at 30%, and just go up in like fives until you find a sensitivity for each scope that you're comfortable with controlling. So once you have found these sensitivities, uh, you can always use mine if you're too lazy to find them yourself. Uh, you can just make sure to take a screenshot of them. So instead of jumping straight to like say, let's example 45%. So obviously if you had like low sensitivities before, that's gonna feel really weird for you. So what you wanna do, you wanna start at 20 and then like go up in like fives until you reach that certain number that you had found before. This is exactly what I actually did ages ago, like go up in small amounts until I reached that certain number. And so far it's worked pretty well for me. So now that you've found your perfect sensitivities for controlling recoil, make sure to just stick with it and these next steps will actually help you with that. So briefly, I'm gonna go over like how device is gonna help you. So a lot of people think that iPads are obviously gonna be easier to control recoil than phone, but it's really not. Personally, my like recoils on both of them is pretty similar. If you think about it, high ADS sensitivity means that you don't have to move your finger that far. And if you're not using that whole screen space on an iPad, like, is there any difference to a phone? The thing that does matter, however, is frame rate. So obviously, if you're on low frame rate, you're gonna struggle controlling recall. And that's pretty much like on every single game, like PC, mobile, the higher your frames, the easier everything's gonna be. So obviously you want a device that can run extreme fps since that's currently the highest you can run in pubg mobile it's obviously not impossible to get low recoil with a lower frame rate option but obviously having extreme makes everything a lot easier for you also make sure to turn the graphics down to the lowest setting so your game can run as smoothly as possible since graphics doesn't help with recoil control but frame rate obviously does so the best settings in PUBG Mobile to control your recoil would be firstly to have aim assist turned on, which actually helps drag to the body so you don't actually have to control recoil as much, especially horizontal, which is obviously harder than vertical recoil. The next setting uh, option only applies if you have hold to lean or hold to scope on. So what you want to do, it's actually a new setting that they introduced in the last update. It's camera rotation while leaning. You want to turn that to disabled 
and camera rotation while ADS. You also want to turn that to disabled. Uh, this allows it to be static so that it doesn't actually mess with your recoil. Since before, when you're pressing those buttons, you could actually move around with them. But now with that disabled, you can't do it anymore and it doesn't mess with your recoil or even aiming. So now that you've found the perfect sensitivities for controlling recoil as well as the best settings, I'm now going to go over a few ways to practice controlling your sprays in PUBG Mobile. So the first way to practice is to just hop into training ground, go grab an M4, get a backpack and get as much fire fiber as you possibly can. So you want to stand at this firing zone right here, you want to look at the targets and just start spraying at the first one. So once you get comfortable with that one, move on to the second, third and just keep on going back until you've perfected your recoil control. So obviously since it's high sensitivity, you don't actually have to move your finger too far. So all you gotta do is just move your thumb or finger, whatever, whatever your finger you use for recoil, you just gotta move that down gradually at a steady rate. So the next training method is actually gonna help a ton with tracing cars. So what you wanna do, you wanna hop into this area right here that's next to where you were shooting before. You wanna look at the roof of the shack on the left side with whatever gun you wanna use, practice controlling recoil with, and you wanna go trace it all the way to the right following the roof line, which is gonna help a ton because that's how cars, that's how you're gonna be shooting cars. You're gonna be going like right to left or left to right. And also make sure to not just start at the left going right, you also gotta start at the right going left. So another way to help practice in controlling recoil is in the semi new uh, feature called the cheer park. So what you wanna do, you wanna go up to this little training thing, whatever, and you wanna press training. So once you're on that, you stand on one of the footstep things and you just aim in and get all the targets as fast as possible. This will just obviously help with recoil since it actually start moving after a certain point, which is really helpful. And I'm really glad they actually put this feature in the game since it helps a ton with recoil practice. So the biggest tip for practicing recoil sprays in training grounds would be actually to only have an extended mag on your gun, as well as don't go prone or crouch. This actually makes it a lot harder for you. So if you can control recoil like this with no grip, uh, like no attachments, only an extended mag while standing, it's obviously going to be a hundred times easier if you've got like full attachments and you're also crouched, which is what you would actually be doing in a proper game. So that's about it for all the tips and tricks to control recoil in PUBG Mobile without gyro. So if I missed anything or you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below since I do read most of them and I'll try my best to answer if I see them. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Let's see if we can hit 3,000 likes. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I actually usually upload highlight type videos, so this is a little bit different to what I usually do. So for the rest of this video, I'm just going to play highlights, so hopefully you guys do enjoy them. Have a great rest of your day. Oh my god, I don't get it! Not the location. So much lag.
part of me is like, who is this? The other half, that's who I miss. Always worry, always stress, feel it heavy in the chest. I know I talk about it way too much, but talking about it, man, that's my crutch. These days, things I crave. It ain't money, it's better days. Been flying, seems like way too long. Anxiety been way too strong. It comes, goes, it hits hard, but damn, I've made it this far, so why quit?